Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to place an image behind text in your Microsoft Word document. And show you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. And I upload videos every day here. I am on a mission to get to 1000 subs, so you'd be a big help by subscribing to my YouTube channel and helping me in reaching that goal. Let's get into the video. We'll go up to insert here in our ribbons menu. I have a video on ribbons. I'll link that in the description. I'll go to pictures, then click this device, and I'll ensure that I click my My Pictures section on the left-hand side of the Insert Picture dialog box. Then I'll click the image that I need, and I'll insert. First thing, I should get into before I go forward is letting you know that before you insert the image, always ensure that your cursor is where you want the image to go. So if you want the image to go to the extreme top of the document before applying the effect, just ensure that your cursor is at the beginning of the document. Or if you want it to land in the middle of the document, just put it anywhere here and wherever your cursor is blinking, it's going to arrive there. I have a detailed video about that. I'll link that video also for you in the description box or in the cards menu. Now we'll click the image and ensure we click the image, right click, and before I right click, ensure that the frame is around the photo so that you know that you're clicking on the photo, right? Right click, we come down to wrap text, and then we'll go to behind text. Now there's an anchor here that says, well, I'm using Word 365, and this anchor that's in blue beside the top of the image to the left-hand corner, if you rest your mouse pointer on it, it's going to say, the selected subject is anchored to the document text here. All that means is that when you click, hold, and drag the image, and deselect it, and you try to select it again, it's going to be pretty hard to select unless you're like really skillful at doing this. And even if you try to say, okay, let me move the text by clicking enter, 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 the text is gonna move with the picture because they're anchored. It's attached to the text. So to undo that, all you need to do, I'm undoing here. When the picture is big, when you've just put the picture behind the text, all you need to do is right click on the image, you select wrap text from the drop down menu, and you deselect move with text. Now, if you make the picture small again, deselect it, and press enter, like you move the text, you'll see that the image is not moving with the text this time. And then, Let's say you want to select the image again, and it's still hard to select. You just move the text out of the way completely by keep pressing enter, and then click the image, and you'll be able to move it again. And then you could go back, space, moving the text around, and you could just play around with it. By now, you would have gotten the gist. Now, sizing and resizing photos can be a bit tricky also. I have a video on that that shows you specifically how to resize that. All of that is linked in the description box showing you how to resize photos after you have inserted them. And of course, even though this is not that type of video, if the picture is too bright or too dark for the text that it is behind, if you want to make the picture lighter or make the picture transparent, all you have to do is right click on the photo itself. You come down to format picture and where you see the picture icon, you click that and the transparent settings are in there. So you could just move the slider by double clicking, holding and dragging to the right. And you have different percentages that you could use and your picture will show you different transparencies. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.